Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads error code 0x800F0955. And it says the installation failed in the safe LS phase with an error during the install updates operation. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then select the Windows Update troubleshooter and the run button that corresponds to it. And it gives you any recommended solutions that I recommend following along with them and applying the fixes. Something I also recommend trying as well would be to actually do the upgrade through the media creation utility. So if you were to go on to Microsoft's website, so if you just search for media creation utility, and there's one for Windows 10, if you just type in Windows 11 at the end of it, it should get you to a Microsoft.com page for download Windows 11. Go ahead and select that. And then you can go underneath where it says Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Select the Download Now button. And this should launch the media creation tool once it's downloaded. And you want to go ahead and open that up. And now if you're going to be upgrading this computer, you would select different options than if you were going to be creating the installation media for a different device. So go ahead and select Accept here. And generally speaking, there's only one version of Windows 11, the 64-bit version. It's not a 32-bit architecture version here. You can uncheck the option regardless just to use the recommended options for this PC if you're going to be doing it for another device. And you would select Next, and then you would either choose a USB flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes in size or a DVD of the same size as well. And you just would proceed with the installation to that drive. It would take some time to download depending on your internet speeds. Pretty straightforward process, and then you go ahead and boot your computer from it. Or you could just pop it into your DVD drive, you know, while the computer's already running, and you can launch the setup wizard from there. And that's potentially another workaround for you to consider. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.